Hi, everyone. My name is Cheryl Vito. Today we're going to be talking about writing the clinical protocol. I've been doing this now for over 25 years, so hopefully I can give you some information that will be helpful to you. I'm excited about this topic. I love to write. I've been a medical writer. For, I've had my own consulting business now for over 15 years, and I started as a bench chemist and sort of worked my way up as a clinical research associate and, the, and, and started writing protocols in a phase one unit and sort of never looked back after that. So hopefully you'll find this topic as interesting as I do. And with no further ado, we will head into the objectives for today. So the course objectives that are in your course catalog are really talking about the overall structure of the protocol and the regulatory requirements for the protocol. We'll talk about the indication, the types of studies that you may or may not be involved in, design of the study, establishing the hypothesis, which is really where you really start with your protocol, establishing your safety and efficacy criteria, determining your eligibility criteria, which are primarily inclusion and exclusion criteria. We'll talk a lot about the schedule of events or schedule of assessments, whatever you prefer to call it, and different types of reporting of adverse events and serious adverse events. 